Beloved in Christ, be it this Christmas tide our care and delight to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass and with the Magi adore the child lying in his mother's arms. Let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. And let us make this church, dedicated to all his angels, glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill over all the earth, for unity and brotherhood within the church he came to build, within the dominions of our Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth, and especially in this county town of Maidstone, within the See of Richborough and Diocese of Canterbury. And because this of all things would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick, and them that mourn, the lonely, and the unloved, the aged, and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the Word made flesh, and with whom, in the Lord Jesus, we forevermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Almighty God bless us with his grace, Christ give us the joys of everlasting life and unto the fellowship of the citizens above may the King of Angels bring us all. Amen. God promises that the seed of woman shall bruise the serpent's head and they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? Then the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed 
more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat the dust all the days of your life, and I will put enmity between you and the woman, and the, between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Thanks be to God.
promises to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, declares the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son. I will surely bless you and have surely multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of his enemies and your off and in your offspring shall the all the nations of the earth be blessed because you have obeyed my voice thanks be to god Prophet Isaiah foretells Christ's birth and kingdom. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice and righteousness, of this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God.
The prophet Micah tells the glory of little Bethlehem. But you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one who is to be the ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is, is of old from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until till the time where she who is in, in labour has given birth. Then the rest of, of his brothers shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the, the Lord his God. And they shall dwell secure, for now he, he shall be great in the end, great to the ends of the earth. Thanks be to God.
The angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And when he saw, she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what kind of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not fear, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How shall this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy One who will be born of you shall be called Son of God. And behold, your cousin Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For nothing shall be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of, Naz out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem 
because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was great with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Thanks be to God. The shepherds go to the manger. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. 
For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For unto you is born this day, in the city of David, a Saviour who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Thanks be to God. The wise men are led by a star to Jesus. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go 
and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented to him gifts, gold, frankincense and myrrh. Thanks be to God. St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him not, was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not grasp it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light that gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, 
To them he gave power to become children of God, even to them that believe on his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with peace and goodwill, and make you partakers of the divine nature. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.